Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. Coming up here on today's show, a Raiders Cardinals Week 2 Preview. I'm going to tell you what to watch for, and I'm going to tell you who I got winning at the very end of today's show. To make sure that you don't miss our watch party, we had over 100,000 people join. We gave away money on Venmo. We gave away multiple hats. Shout out to Black Sunday. Join the party. Hit that subscribe button. We're getting started 30 minutes before kickoff. Now, this is a big game for both teams. Cardinals lost to the Chiefs in Week 1. Raiders dropped, dropped their first game to FLAC. Both teams starting at 0-1. Dropping to 0-2 simply can't happen. Now, when you look at the latest odds in this game, again, I am filming this on Thursday, so please keep that in mind. The over-under is set at 51.5 points. Raiders, 5.5 point favorites. I kind of like that, man. I kind of like that. So who you got? We're going to get a lot of Cardinals fans that tune into this show. We're going to hopefully get a lot of Raiders fans. So if you see a single ARI, reply to that person and spam LV. I know last week was a difficult game, but let's have some, fa have some faith in our boys. Please tell me, do you still got the Raiders? So coming up right now, I'm going to tell you five things to watch for. The five biggest things that I want to see, it's also kind of like a five keys to victory because – you can't just give up after week one. So my very first thing that I'm going to be watching for, the very first thing that I want to see in this Cardinals game, you better let Derek Carr cook. What do I mean by that? Mitch, he was so bad. You said it. He's the number one reason why the Raiders lost that first game. You're right. You're damn right. Guess what? If the Raiders have Super Bowl aspirations, you need this man right here, Derek Carr. To be at a very high level. I'm not going to tell him that I don't have confidence in him. No. Let the man cook. Let the Raiders sling the football. That's the most strength that they have. And the Cardinals last week, they gave up 360 passing yards. Be aggressive, DC. Be aggressive, Josh McDaniels. Be aggressive, Bo Hardegree. And not only be aggressive, but I want to see the good DC. And the good DC doesn't lock onto one person. He scans the field. He's methodical. He finds the open receiver, even if it's not his first read. We know Devontae Adams is going to eat. But I want to see Darren Waller get involved. I want to see Hunter Renfro get involved. I want to see the entire offense get involved. So let Derek Carr cook. Because the Cardinals gave up the most passing yards in week one with 360. They gave up 30 of 39 from Patrick Mahomes and five touchdowns. I get Derek Carr struggled. But don't take the faith out of that man. Let's go to the next thing that I'm watching for up against Arizona. The O-line needs to win. The offensive line did not play bad against the Chargers in week one. And if the Raiders offensive line can step up, looking at you, Colt Miller, looking at you, John Simpson, because the left side of the offensive line let the Raiders down. I also know this. If Derek gets happy feet going, he's not the same quarterback. If you can show Carr that you're going to give him the time and then he has all the time in the world, he is going to pick apart the Cardinals defense. So when you look at some of these numbers here from PFF and the Raiders pass blocking grades from week one, if Colton Miller can play at his level, the offensive line is going to click. Colton not only struggled in the pass game, he struggled in the running game as well. Now, the Cardinals don't have nearly the edge-rushing duo that the Chargers have. The Cardinals aren't nearly our defense like the Chargers. But I still want this offensive line to show our quarterback, and I want the offensive line to get the credit, but also on top of that to show us that they can get it done. Now, not only do we have the number one deal out there, so if you want to bet on the Raiders, if you want to bet on any NFL game, you can do so by going to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders125 gets you 125% deposit bonus. So essentially, you put down $100, you get $125 for free to bet with. That's a really good deal. If you're wondering, all right, Mitch, what bets are you making? Here are my top three bets this week. I'm taking Browns minus seven against the Jets. They stink. Steelers plus one at home to the Patriots. It, the fact that they're an underdog, it seems too good to be true. Seahawks plus 10 at the 49ers. Seahawks won, 49ers lost to the, to the freaking Bears. I'm going to take Seattle. What about Chugs? Let's get Chugs week two bets in here. Ravens minus 3.5 up against Miami. Bengals minus 7.5 against the Cowboys. 
and Jeremy is also going with Seahawks plus 10 at the 49ers. But if you thought that that deal was the only deal I was going to offer you, nope, it's not. In fact, you have, if you're watching this live, okay, and if you watch this on a later date, we're still going to hook you up with the deal. We're going to give you a free jersey. Yeah, I said it. We're going to give you a free jersey if you are a first-time depositor at BetUS. So if you want to claim the jersey, if all you heard was, wait, free Raiders jersey, send me an email at that right there, that email address below, jersey at chatsports.com. If you're watching this live, you have one hour to do it. You have one hour to do it. If you watch this on Saturday when the video goes out on a later date, you have until kickoff of the Raiders game. Does that make sense? Free Raiders jersey, first time bet US depositors. So not only do you get a free jersey, you're going to get 125% deposit bonus. So $100 gets you $125 for free to bet with, and it gets you a free Raiders jersey. That's a hell of a deal. So take advantage of it right now. Chatsports.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders125. Email me, jersey at chatsports.com. Sound good? Cool. Let's keep this preview rocking and rolling here on the Raiders Report. Next thing I want to see, let's get Josh Jacobs going. Like, I'm not talking kind of get him going. No. I want to see Jacobs run because the last five games I would see Josh play, he looks like a hungry man. He looks like somebody who is looking for a new contract. 10 carries, 57 yards against the Chargers. And there were so many times where I was like, keep feeding him. Keep feeding him. And then McDaniels would go away from it. I want to see Jacobs really pound the football because that's going to open up so much for Derek Carr in that offense. And you know what? Let's get ballsy here. If you think Jacobs is going to score a touchdown this week, I want you to like the video. Don't do it for me. Do it for Josh. Do it for the nation. And if you got him on a fantasy football team, as far as I'm concerned, it's just bad luck if you don't like the video. Get Josh going. Let's go to the next thing here. Pressure Kyler Murray. And I'm using the word pressure because it's important. I didn't say blitz. I said pressure. Last season, one of the best quarterbacks against the blitz in realistically like the first 12 weeks of the year, the best quarterback in the NFL against the blitz was Kyler Murray. So I'm going to be looking at you, Chandler Jones. I love revenge games. Chandler did not really have that much of an impact against the Chargers. Two tackles, a tackle for loss, one quarterback hit. No, I want you to go after your old buddy in Arizona and make him feel like little Yoda. Not the good version, but the bad version. Max Crosby, I'm going to be looking at you to get after Murray because when I say pressure him, I want to be able to pressure him with four. If you can pressure him with four, like I know this Raiders front can, that's going to lead to good things. If you get a blitz and Murray breaks containment and then he can use those little legs and scamper, he's going to chew you up. So if you can blitz or bring four and reach home, that also gives you the ability whether you want to have Jonathan Abram play QB spy, a Divine Diablo play QB spy. Because to me, Kyler Murray, when he doesn't have DeAndre Hopkins, has yet to show me that he's good enough to beat a lot of NFL teams with his arm. He can always beat you with those legs, but don't let him beat you with those legs. Pressure him, get after him with bringing four. The final thing that I'm going to be looking for, well, actually, I'll tell you about it here in just a second. Join my week two challenge over on Locals. Not only do you get two exclusive videos a week, an extra live show, we're going to do a challenge every single week. Last week, we gave away an Amazon gift card. This week, giving away Raiders Report t-shirts. So go to chatsports.com slash week two, enter it, and all you got to do is simply pick the winners of every game in the NFL. And if you do that, you get the most. You win a t-shirt. Sounds pretty good, right? I thought so. Let's go to the final thing that I'm watching for. McDaniel's play calling needs to be better. I, I, I get that people are like, oh, he's not the offensive coordinator. McDaniel's the guy calling the plays. He's the guy calling the plays. I don't care what anyone says. There were a few times last week that I was like, ah, wish they would have went with something different. I want to see more running back screens. That helps out your offensive line. It helps your quarterback get the ball out quicker. I also want them to not get too cutesy. If it's working on a drive, if Jacobs is going down the field, I don't want to see a weird triple reverse with Devontae Adams, the only guy that's been catching the football all game. If it's working, stick with it. But you also have to have your team ready because that Raiders team in that first half, they were not ready to play, and I don't want to see them fall behind again. So the Week 2 matchup again, y'all. Cardinals on the road in Allegiant Stadium up against the Las 
Vegas Raiders. It's a big time game. I told you when I started the show, I'd give you my score prediction. Before I do that, let me know. What is your score prediction? Cardinals, Raiders, Raiders, five and a half point favorites. The over under is set at 51 and a half points. Give me the Raiders. I took it on our Amazon Alexa shows, and I'm going to take it on here as well. Raiders win this game at Allegiant Stadium, 31 to 24. You heard it here first. Raiders move to one and one.